The 13th annual Edelman Trust Barometer finds a slight increase in trust around the world. Trust's rise was most profound in the United States, France and Germany. But while trust is up, its roots are shallow. Only small margins have intense trust of government, business, media and NGOs. And not all institutions are trusted equally, with 16 out of 26 markets trusting business over government. The largest gaps in trust between business and government are found in Latin America, where Mexico, Brazil and Argentina have over 30-point differentials between the two institutions. South Korea is the only country to possess a pro-government sentiment larger than 10 points. While institutions experienced a rise in trust, industries' trust levels are fairly flat. Technology remains the most trusted industry in all markets. By contrast, banks and financial services are the least trusted industries, over half of those surveyed are familiar with recent scandals in banks and financial services. Of those familiar with banking and finance scandals, six out of ten believe the causes are behavioural, with culture and corruption as the leading factors. These behaviours are believed to be common across all of business. Trust in leadership is suffering as a result, and with the exception of a few emerging markets, CEOs have less than 50% trust around the world. While leaders perform poorly across the board, Perhaps most striking is that only 18% trust business leaders and only 13% trust government leaders to tell the truth. When comparing trust in institutions to do what's right and leaders to tell the truth, we find a significant gap. Ultimately, the 13th annual Edelman Trust Barometer shows a crisis of leadership. The crisis of leadership calls for a new model of influence. In this model, the traditional pyramid of authority combines with the pyramid of community to create the diamond of influence. While business leaders still communicate from the top down, social activists, action consumers and employees are speaking up and out, engaging in peer-to-peer -peer dialogue and are changing the conversation. Influence and authority have moved from the few to the many. Today's world requires a new approach to build and maintain trust. We call this approach inclusive management, where leaders set and share their vision, enlist their community, listen and adapt to feedback, and act accordingly. A necessary complement to this approach is grounded leadership, where all channels of communications are embraced and messages are delivered with humility, transparency, and a willingness to explain their mutual benefit.